This video is going to demonstrate how to create the connecting rod part. Now there's a lot of information here on the two-dimensional drawing that I have to uh, leverage into my CAD system to create the part. Definitely something you want to take your time with. And I like to usually approach this from what I see as the simple side and work my way to the more complex side. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to start at the small end of the connecting rod, so to speak. Please, if you have not already, try and create this on your own first before you use the step-by-step -step procedures to do it. Uh, that reinforces the ability and the skills to do this on your own because I am not always going to be here to create these step-by-step -step directions. And you guys... Uh, will be will benefit much more if you can do this on your own but it is a process so use the resources as you see fit all right i think i'm going to put my origin at the little end here i think that might be the easiest way to start there's my inside hole uh, i'm going to need an outside diameter let's do that with an arc and I'm just going to make those concentric. All right. And I kind of have this radius into a long line into another radius. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Long line. Actually, let me start that a little lower. Get a long line into this radius uh, this would be a, a place where you could use the um, potentially use like a mirror tool i'm not going to do that but that wouldn't be unreasonable okay then there's kind of this long arc going up here same thing here Those lines look horizontal. I'm going to try that. Let's do a horizontal here. Okay. I think I need a center line here to help line everything up. I'm probably going to run that from the big end to the little end, so to speak. That needs to be horizontal as well. And let's see. Let's stretch it out a little bit. Let's start it looks like a pretty good half circle there so let's put that in there okay all right then what do we have here there's another slot in there too I can see from how smooth all these arcs are that there's a lot of tangents. I've got some here, but I need some more. Okay, that looks good. And I do have some sizes that I can probably start putting in here. Little end is one inch. And the hole just outside is 1.25. Got a radius on this guy, so I probably needed right now. That's a 0.5 radius. And since everything's symmetrical, I can pretty much assume that the bottom is as well. Let's come back here. All right, I'm going to use that equal. Okay. Radius on this larger arc is going to be two inches. There again, symmetrical means equals. This guy is an R of one inch. So that would mean diameter two, but we've got another circle here. It looks like for a raised portion, but I can absolutely put that in here now. I'm not saying I can't. And that was 1.25 radius. And we got a line comes up here. Oh, let's make that. That probably 
Let's go up quite a bit more. So what do we got here? Kind of loops. So I can see that this ends in a radius. So I have some options as far as how I want to do that. I can make it square, come back and cut it. I can just go through the line and come back and add. And that's usually what I end up doing on these things. Then there's this neck and it comes up and then these guys should touch each other. Coincident. Okay. A little wonky, but kind of working. Uh, everything here looks like it ends at the same place. So good option to do or uh, some constraints here, tie everything together. Uh, let's recreate that on the bottom now as well. I could use a mirror, and I think I will actually. So let's mirror these guys. Very useful at times. Okay, coincident. These two. All right, kind of getting there. Clearly, there's some issues here, but. We're working on it. All right, right off the bat, I can see the small end has some problems. The diameter here is one inch, and I have a radius of 1.25, so there's my problem. So I have some options. I can change it, do the math in my head, or what I think the better option is is to tell the computer to make that a diameter. It's always good practice to get as close as you can to the drawing, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, now everything's here a little goofy. So these lines, I have a dimension here of 0.75 in between, and that helped a lot. Uh, we need to find a way to make this symmetrical, but that will come. I'm going to put the slot in here now. Now these arcs and lines are tangent, so I can potentially use the slot tool. Save a little bit of time. Okay, work with me, computer. That's fine. Two center points, open it up, and then I can put in my dimensions there. And what are my dimensions here? This guy is 0.25 radius. 25. And do I have a distance in between? I do three inches in between the center points. Three inches. And I also have some other information here. There is a 1.5 inch, kind of start getting the length of this thing together, between the center point of the little end. 1.5. And then I have another one that tells me two inches between the center point here and there. And this is some pretty good information right now. All right, that got especially goofy. I'm going to delete that guy for now. Pull these back out. And put some more dimensions in. Okay. I've got a radius here of 0.5. Uh, this is here of 0.25. I actually shouldn't call that a radius. I'm just thinking ahead. I have a distance from here to this point of 0.75. Okay. Uh, that one inch stayed in there. I can put that other arc back in there, but it's something that I'm going to be using for a second step. So you can do it now, do it later, up to you. But that is 1.25. And I'm still missing something here. The distance of these guys is off. Ah, 0.75. So from this point to the edge is 0.75. That's where I'm getting real goofy right now. That's looking much better, but I'm still lacking a little bit of symmetry. So let's put some equals out here. Let's see if we can get these working right. There we go. Uh, everything's starting to be constrained now. What is this guy doing? 
So the center point here, I need to lock that in. Concentric is going to be the way I'm going to approach that. Let's see what this says. Fully constrained. Okay. Got all my dimensions in there. Looks fully constrained. Happy with that right now. All right, let's extrude this. Now, this is three-dimensional. I've got bosses on both sides, but this center beam is what I'm working on right now, which is 0.5 if you look at the drawing. So this is going to be extruded 0.5. And I'm going to do both sides since everything is kind of symmetric right now. And oh, these slots are actually cuts, but I can come back and do that. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. I want that main beam design, and then I can go back, share that sketch, and change it. Okay. Kind of rough. Well, I missed that hole, so I'm going to go back in there and deselect the hole. Okay, I'm going to make this sketch visible again because I'm going to use it again right now. I'm going to cut this guy uh, in 0.125 according to the drawing. All right, and I want to do the same thing on the other side. So let's see how I can make that work. Extrude. How about I sketch? I need to get that design on this side, which can be achieved by projection. I want that design on my side. Click OK and boom, there it is. I need to cut in same amount, 0.125 or an eighth of an inch if you didn't figure that out yet. And I want that to go the other direction. Good. All right, so it's coming together here slowly. This extra circle that I put in here does need to come out as well. So I need to do a boss there and a boss on the little end. All right, so I need to do another circle here. So let's create another sketch on here. And I'm simply going to import one and add the other. So I'm going to project my object, this line that I need. Click OK. And now I need a circle here. I already know how big. Um, equals should work well for that. All right, perfect. Now let's extrude. OK. Now, I need to go both sides. I don't know if I can accomplish that here. Oh, I can. So it's not just a symmetric two sides. I can do an uneven two sides. So one side, I need to go 0.25 up. I'm adding material. Uh, let's do, so it's going to be minus 0.25 for that direction. And the other direction needs to go 0.25 on the bottom, but I have to add thickness. So... What is that, 0.75? Oh, wrong one. I'll do it. All right, so three-dimensionally, I'm almost there. Uh, the radius parts look good. Let's see what else do I need. Well, I got to figure out these end holes and that'll be the second video so this is the first video on the connecting rod hoping you get started quite a bit of detail make sure that you are getting it all in there and go ahead and log in the second video and we'll get these holes for what would probably be some type of a fastener